It is now an undeniable reality that our planet's climate is changing. The pollution we, as a species, are creating atmospherically and environmentally is undeniable. And although many are oblivious to this effect, or sadly they simply don't care, there are countless others who are passionately invested in cultivation, salvaging, and repairing the damaged parts of our planet's habitats. Iceland, in particular, is taking on the climate shift in their country by using a method left by a lost civilization. Having minimal scattered and declining forest habitats in the country, top horticultural specialists are now seemingly mimicking a technique which, thanks to heavy historical research, is a method rediscovered for its origins being Peru, possibly during the polygonal era. And then the climate changes. The winters have become milder. Many of the trees that we planted in the 1950s, especially Siberian larch, are literally dying after several decades of being reasonably good. The genetics of forest trees are important. These are all things that are genetically determined in the trees. And through the years, we've found the species that we can use, and now we're selecting individuals that are best adapted bringing them together in a seed orchard and using their offspring in afforestation. Known as moray, its use was to acclimatize and then grow forests in places that the original parent plant species would have simply failed in. As stated by the lead directors of the project, quote, we are using a technique to regrow forests for the first time in over a thousand years, end quote. Referring to the supposed Incan site, moray, a site in which we ourselves established its purpose via our own research. An enormous terraced garden which practiced strain selection and phenotyping. It consisted of growing out many plants, selecting plants with highest vigor, thus better established for said environment, raising their altitude with every selected generation, until, eventually, they could grow sea-level herbs, fruits, trees, and all other types of plants high above the clouds. We find the fact that Iceland is finally recreating intact, unbroken forest ecosystems with a prehistoric technique, which, if applied in other areas of the planet experiencing decline in ecosystems with the utilization of modern technologies, could have immense potential. A truly genius creation. Its potential, if we apply our modern technologies to the ancient practice unraveled as the purpose for moray is enormous. Growing food in otherwise once inhospitable countries, for example, seeds created through exhaustive selective crossbreeding could create staple food crops, impervious to drought, or with the ability to drive a core into groundwater, which their ancestors could not. Moray not only proved the astonishing knowledge and ability of its creators, but also the potential in the incredible adaptability of plants over just a few generations something we are again finally utilizing. Could these ancient ruins' ultimate legacy be that of the colonization of Mars? It is a resurrected ancient technology we have perused and mentioned for many years. And finally, the over 1,000-year-old masterpiece is now once again rebuilding forests. We undoubtedly find this highly compelling. <laughs>